Okay, so what's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally good news for OnePlus 7 series and 70 series users. OnePlus have started rolling out Oxygen OS 12.1 Open Beta 1 for these phones. So in this video, we'll go through all the changes what OnePlus have done. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see this is a OnePlus 7 Pro which is currently running on the first Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta based on Android 12.1. Talking about Android version, it says Android 12. We do get the 5th June 2022 security patch. If you take a look at the version, version is H.20. And if you tap on update device, it says Oxygen OS 12.1. Guys, I won't recommend you guys to install it right away. Wait for my complete review. In a day or two, I'll post a complete review about the stability part and performance, including other stuff like battery and camera. So before talking about the installation process, guys, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So for the installation part, what you have to do is first of all, download the complete zip file which is given in the description below it's a zip file of around 3.2 gb and you also need to make sure you're running on the latest build of oxygen os 11. in my case i was running oxygen os 11.0.8.1 but it doesn't matter if your device is on oxygen os 11.0.7.1 once you're done with that you just have to download and place the file inside the internal storage avoid placing it inside any of the folders make sure it is in the root directory of your internal storage after that just go to settings system update tap on the gear icon towards the right top corner select local upgrade and choose the file the installation process might take around seven to eight minutes once it's done reboot your device and you'll be good to go but for safety purpose make sure to take a backup of your device also make sure your device is charged more than 30 percent okay so for oneplus 7 series you guys will see a lot of changes in the ui because now you won't get to see the oxygen os launcher instead of that we do have the color os launcher pre-installed though color os launcher comes with lot many customization options which you can play around i've already done a detailed video on all the features of color os launcher so make sure to check that video out we do get few handy gestures like whenever you are on the home screen or you long press on the home screen with just a single swipe you can move around the icons either to the bottom side or towards the top side now oneplus shelf have been completely redesigned so the gesture to trigger oneplus shelf is from the right top corner give all the necessary permissions and this is the new version of oneplus shelf which is quite handy but i don't like this gesture because most of the time whenever you try to swipe down the notification panel this gesture triggers the oneplus shelf and oneplus scout feature have also been implemented in the oneplus shelf search section itself instead of the app drawer which can be triggered from the oneplus shelf itself now if you go to app drawer and tap the search bar you'll only be able to search for the applications not the universal search what we get to see on scout feature we now get the updated version of screen recording which lets you record your face cam using front camera so if you are into gaming it's a good add-on to record your game place where you can record your face too when it comes to system upgrade oneplus says they have added the smart battery engine so battery thing will get to know once i start using this device cannot comment anything about the battery backup so soon we have a dedicated high performance mode so if you are into gaming you can enable this feature though it will consume more battery but your gameplay would be way better compared to the normal mode talking about the personalization section so it was customization before and now it has been renamed to personalization and there are few new add-ons done so right now one drawback what you guys gonna notice is with the always on display so you cannot enable clock always on display feature on this particular build so there's a workaround if you guys want to use always on display you can enable bitmoji feature and from here you can just tap on apply and make changes in the ambient display settings from here you can select all day and tap on apply and this is how it should look once you enable it but as said there are few known bugs which oneplus have mentioned on the official forum or you can see them on the screen we cannot enable clock as of now for always on display but you can use bitmoji feature if you want to try out always on display for me double tap to wake works fine on this device or you can say this build you can customize the display settings of always on display we do have the updated version of canvas aod and which is the updated version with few more extra customization options where you can choose between the styles and we also have the razor tool 
using which you can erase the extra part which you don't want to be displayed in the canvas. Inside clock is still present. When it comes to clock style, there are not much of clock styles added. Most of the clock style remains same which we have seen on Oxygen OS 11. Similarly, we have the fingerprint animations, horizon light which still consists of three different colors but you can also enable horizon light for incoming calls. And this is how it's gonna look once you enable it. One major add-on what you guys gonna notice on Oxygen OS 12 or 12.1 now we have a dedicated theme store from where you can choose multiple themes for your device and customize as per your requirements. Though we have made a dedicated video on best themes for OnePlus smartphones which includes paid and free themes. So I'll leave that video also in the description below if you are looking for some good themes for your particular device. And the most awaited feature of dark mode customization is now present for OnePlus 7 series 2. So here we have three different modes which includes gentle which gives you that grayish background, medium slightly darker background and at last enhanced which gives you the pitch dark background for your dark mode. You can also enable adaptive contrast mode which automatically adjusts the screen contrast according to the ambient lighting condition. You might face some display issues whenever you switch between Full HD Plus or QHD Plus. So let me show you. Here you can see the clock size which is a bit smaller if we have set the resolution to QHD Plus. But once we set it to Full HD Plus, the clock size should become normal. So these are some known bugs guys right now can be ignored. We have the updated version of gallery application which do have the support of pinch in and pinch out and this updated version of gallery also comes with the AI integration which automatically recognize the best picture and crop according to the thumbnails for gallery. For the camera part right now camera seems to be working fine and whenever you switch to front camera you'll see an LED glowing from the right side and left side and which goes towards the top side. Let me show you an example. Here you can see. For the picture quality and other stuff just wait for a complete review video. Guys we are not covering all the features because I have done an in-depth video of all the hidden features of Oxygen OS 12 or 12.1. So those important videos I'll be listing down in the description below. Make sure to check them out to know all the hidden features present on Oxygen OS 12.1. With this latest build of Oxygen OS, we have the updated version of work-life balance and that also comes with lot many options which can be triggered based on your Wi-Fi connections, location and many other stuff. As always, I've been saying I don't use this mode so I'm not much aware about the usage pattern of this feature. Now let's also take a look at the fingerprint scanner and face recognition whether both these things are working fine or not. So first let's set up the fingerprint. So here I did not see any kind of delays or issues recognizing my face and unlocking the device using face unlock or even fingerprint unlock. Both of them are working perfectly fine. And many users have been worried about the widewind certification. So if we check using the DRM info application, for me, I have got the Widewind security level as L1. So you guys can try installing this build. There are possibilities if you had L3 on Oxygen OS 11, you might get to see certification level of L1. And now at last, let's talk about the gaming part. As per the changelog, OnePlus says they have added the hyper boost technology for gaming stuff and frame rate stabilizer. Along with that, OnePlus have also updated the OnePlus game space application, which now have few different voice modulars which can be enabled from here and you can instantly change your voice in the gameplay. We have options like Knight, Kid, Alien, Robocop, Gent and another thing what you guys gonna find out now we have different performance settings in the game space application which includes low mode, balance mode and at last a pro gamer mode. But still we have bad news, you don't get the support of 90 FPS on Oxygen OS 12.1 on your OnePlus 7 series. So let me show you the graphic settings if you go to graphics. As you can see here I have set combat and lobby settings to smooth and 90 FPS. But if we enable system status, we only get to see maximum output of 60 FPS. So if you guys can wait for 2-3 days, wait for my complete review in which I'll do mention about the gaming performance. And you might also see this glitch wherein after even closing the game, the game space application still runs in the background. So for this, you have to force stop the game space application to get rid of this. So guys, this was a quick overview on the features of Oxygen OS 12.1 for OnePlus 7 series. As of now, only this much in this video. 
I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.